um, I'm trying to learn how to do my pop shove -its. I've only been skating for like two or three months, and I only have my ollies down pretty well. Uh, I'll show you a couple of ollies, and I'll show you a few attempts of me doing a pop shove -it. The problem is whenever I land, I can only get my front foot on the board. I can't get my back foot, so it looks like this. Yeah, just like that. Can't get my back foot on ever. So, yeah, that's my problem. Now I'm going to show you a few ollies. Hey, man, so thanks a lot for sending in your video. I really do appreciate it. Cool, so we definitely got to work on that ollie more. We just need more of the drag of the front foot, and that is going to really help you improve on all the tricks that you work on from here on out. Um, the ollie is kind of your stable first trick and it prepares you for some of the rest of these tricks. Cool, so on your shove it, you are doing a practice step of just stepping off with your back foot. Here, check this out. Your back foot will shove it forward, but it goes straight to the ground. Um, like you're not shoving and jumping with your back foot at all. You're just doing a shove it and just shoving the board in front of you and then stepping right off with your back foot which is totally fine for a practice step and that's just basically where you're at. Like in the trick, let's say if there is, I would say, a good three or four steps in total if we break it down super, super detailed. And you're just on one of those first steps, just practicing the motion with your back foot. Cool, so this step right here is so, so valuable. I cannot even begin to tell you. So notice that my tail never touches the ground. I have taught so many people how to do a pop shove it and I always do it this way and it always works really, really well. So get rid of the idea of doing a pop shove it, take the pop entirely out of it and just think with the idea of doing just a shove it. And these are the motions that you're gonna do. You're gonna leave your front foot on there. You're gonna shove your back foot back super hard and you have to jump up with your back foot. That is an important part of it as well. So make sure that like you're, you're starting the practice step where you're getting the motion of your back foot in terms of just the shove down, which is fine, and you can step off and that's totally fine. But from here on out, you want to be able to shove your back foot straight back and jump. And for that, you're going to have to be really comfortable riding your board, which is a point that I'm going to cover in a second. But first things first is just, I want you to get rid of the idea of learning to pop shove it and just learn to shove it. As soon as you have the shove it down, you're going to be able to do the pop part of it really easy. So again, just get that scoop of your back foot, just scoop it straight back. That way, you barely need to jump with your front foot. You actually barely need to jump with your back foot as well. You just have to get the scoop down super fast so the board goes straight back, straight underneath you, and sticks right close in, right underneath you, and then you'll land, and it'll be totally easy. You'll be actually surprised how easy it is. Cool. So with that said, I do want you to go back, and I do want you to practice some of those earlier steps. You definitely need to improve your ollies. You definitely need to work on just that slide of the front foot. But even before that, make sure you're riding around your board a lot. Um, front side turns, back side turns, ride it to the store, ride it down the street. Just make sure you're really, 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 really comfortable on your board. And that's going to help you with every single trick you ever do from here on out ever. So when you're just shoving your foot back, it looks like, you know, it's just, it can be a little scary as your first trick to try and jump up, land on the board, the board's moving. And if you're not extremely comfortable riding, that's where you need to get extremely comfortable riding. Get Skateboarding Made Simple. Volume 1 would help you out so much, you have no idea. It is available as an iBook, so check it out there as well. It will help you a ton for sure.